Hi everyone, welcome back to the Healthy Asian Cuisine channel. Today is different. I am taking you out of my kitchen to visit a delightful local cafe. The cafe I'm showcasing today is none other than Cafe Lab. Here we are arriving at Coffee Lab. Conveniently situated next to a beautiful park called Jardin du Ultramar in Portugal. Cafes are ubiquitous and it is no wonder as the Portuguese adore their coffee. They are known for their cheerful disposition and love for life. Cafe Lab can be found at Rua Brito Camacho, Boyerish, a charming location that adds to its appeal. My Portuguese lesson classmate Eric opted for a tantalizing lemonade infused with vibrant red fruits. A truly tempting and refreshing choice. Later on, he is also indulging a slice of super tasty chocolate cake. And this is, and this is a dessert called Brigadeiro. It's like a chocolate cake but with cocoa all the time and you can even smell the cocoa. As for me, I'm indulging in a slice of Brazilian cake made from corn flour, crowned with a luscious guava paste topping. Each bite is pure bliss. Now, let's step inside this enchanting cafe. What captivates me the most is the moment you enter. The nature's embrace surrounds you. Delicate vines elegantly drape from suspended planters where tranquility and beauty intertwine, creating a serene ambience. During my visit, I had the pleasure of chatting with Al Manzo, the creative mind behind this extraordinary cafe. Hi, Al Manzo. I'm truly captivated by the delightful decorations in your cafe. Could you share some insights about this inspiration and design? It was made by ourselves. So we, we, made, we built those lanes with flowers, we decorated with our wallpaper. It's everything handmade in this house. We have our coffee and we blend, we made some new receipts, we try to, to get to people to get well known about uh, specialty coffee. So that's our purpose in here. So that's why everything in the house is homemade. It's actually handmade, not homemade. So we built by ourselves this entire house. From the plants, to decoration, to the shelves, wallpaper, balcony, everything has a little piece of our sweat and our heart. We have a garden just right here at the corner. So the idea to put the wallpaper and the plants, it was to bring the garden inside here. Oh, I see. So that's, that's our idea. idea. Yeah. Yes. So we have trees, we have the, the grass, uh -huh. we have flowers. So yeah. we'd like people when take a seat in here, they feel they are part of the garden. They feel they are part okay. of that what is outside of the place, not just inside of four walls. You know, yeah. like in a concrete city, you yes. are part of nature as well. Yes. Also here. That's the only part that it's not natural, it's a wallpaper, okay. as you can see, but all the plants in there, they are natural. Yes. Here, those as well, outside, everything is real plants. That's exhibi art exhibition that we have twice a month. We open a space for free. Oh, this is for an exhibition? Yes, it's finished today, this one. Right. So this is the wall that you place all the... Yeah, we artists give the space work. for artists from the city for free. They can exhibit their the, uh, art. It doesn't matter what it is, like paintings, uh, books, literature, anything you want to exhibit or show to the people, you can come in here. This one is finishing today. 
And then okay. in the next week we have a new artist coming out. Oh. Yeah. That's how we all also cook with the heart, so we put the heart in the coffee as well. So we try to play with the beans, we try to also make pairing between food and coffee so what goes better with Angola coffee because we buy those coffees and we roast in Portugal so they can green. So, so where are those coffee from? Where do you uh, we have from? we have plenty place. We have coffee from Brazil, from Ethiopia, Costa Rica, we have Angola, India, Tanzania, Vietnam, we also have coffee from Uganda, Peru, East Timor. So and all the coffees they are roasted in Lisbon. So they come here green. Like the green, they come here raw, as we can say, raw, yeah. And they are roast, freshly roast every week. Yeah. So very healthy. Coffee, it's not bad. Coffee is a good thing. Coffee, it's really good thing. If you drink coffee and you say, oh, I drink coffee and I don't feel good, it's because you not drink only coffee. When you buy commercial coffee, they probably be very mixed with other things, and our coffee, they are very natural. So you don't really need to drink uh, decaffeinated coffee because of just the caffeine, because coffee is very good for, for your health. Okay. Uh, can I ask, uh, what inspired you to open this restaurant? What inspired me? It was a bit of a lot of things. When we moved to Portugal, we, we were Brazilian, then we moved to Dublin, then we moved to Portugal. So what inspired us was two things. The passion for coffee and also the, we would like to tell people on their regular basis, on the day by day, that they can drink good quality coffee. So our passion for coffee and also the passion to tell people on the day by day that you don't have to drink bad coffee. You can drink a good quality coffee for a good price and have also have it at home. Thank you so much. You are very welcome, Linda. Thanks a million and come back more times. Sure, I will come back very often now. Thank, Thank you, you and you too, guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this delightful tour of the Cafe Lab. I kindly invite you to show your appreciation by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd love for you to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Until next time, stay caffeinated and keep exploring. Bye for now.